Well, welcome to my shop again this morning. Um, Halloween is coming up, so I thought we would try making a few Halloween uh, projects. Some I've already offered, of course, but this is one that's uh, in the lineup here, and it's going to be a bobble-headed witch. Uh, it be interesting to see if this will come out okay. First thing we got to do is cut out the main body here. And uh, we'll do that first, and then we'll do the other parts. So let's get going. Turn on that scroll saw. Okay, the first thing we want to do is cut out the main body of the witch here. It's going to be a flying witch. It'll be kind of interesting. Even though she won't really be able to fly, of course. But it'll look like it. And what do witches do best but fly? I've got a uh, piece of scrap plywood here. This is uh, half inch, no, quarter inch uh, birch ply. I'm going to use for another project, but I uh, had it left over and I thought I'd use that first here. So, what I'm going to do is, it's already got some tape on it. Um, but I'm going to put a little more just to uh, make sure the pattern sticks properly and the blade cuts properly. I'm going to peel this off anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Nicely put down there. On the back of the pattern, we want to put our ever trusty glue stick. Sop it up real good. And then we can put this down like so. And on top there, right to the edge, works out pretty good. All right. Put that aside for now. Okay, the uh, pattern book is going to have a couple of other patterns in there that go with it. You got the head of the witch. You got the second layer of the body. <coughs> And you got the broom, which is also going to be another layer. This is going to be a layered type of uh, pattern. So what we want to do is cut these out on a separate piece of birch ply. And the head is eventually going to be a bottle head, so we're going to have to make a spring for that also. I'll show you how I make a spring, and you might be able to use that for this and maybe other projects too. So of course we've got to put down our tape again. And we'll put some more gooey on the back. These are going to be easy pieces to cut out. They're all big. And uh, very easy to work with. Put that aside for the moment. Get our broom. What's a witch without a broom? has to have a broom. And the head. has to have a head too, I guess. Okay. I think we're doing all right here. All right. I'm going to take our board. Get these out of the way for the moment. Our blank down here. <clears throat> we'll take our broom. Put it at an angle so it will fit on the board. Getting all stuck up here. And we put the other layer of the body 
right there. I'm going to cut all these out on the scroll saw. The only thing that might be a little difficult is the tight eye, nose, and mouth here. But they're not that difficult. I think we can do it. And I think you can do it too. Okay. So we got all the pieces set. Now what we want to do is take this and uh, bring it over to the scroll saw and cut them out. All right, I'll see you over there. Okay, let's cut out our main body for the uh, witch. And we're going to use a uh, number five reverse tooth blade clamped into my scroll saw and let's go to work. Okay, I've got all the pieces cut out. Uh, I took them over to the uh, sander, the mop sander, and sanded them down, smoothed them all out, rounded the edges over, peeled off all the patterns, of course. Didn't do that on camera, because I figure I've done it enough times already on other videos, if you really want to see what that's all about. It's fairly simple, though. Just sand it down. You can do this by hand, too, of course, and round over the edges as best you can. Now, as I said, this is going to be a layered type of pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, uh, this is a basic body of the witch, and put it like this, something like this, so that the hand is holding on to the mop. And we put another layer of ruffled clothing on the witch out toward the front. And then, of course, the head is going to be on something like that. Or like that would probably be better because the hair is flowing away in distance. But we're going to make this a bobblehead, so we're not really going to just attach that there. So the first thing we want to do is get some glue on this thing. Um, I'm going to use uh, Gorilla Super Glue. I could use wood glue, but I want to speed this process up a little bit. So we'll put our glue down here. Don't need an awful lot of this stuff on here. And we'll get our witch situated. So her hands, here's the hand holding on her backside down there. And then we'll put some glue on here. Don't need a lot on there. Gonna just put this up toward the top here. There we go. Okay, we've got our nicely layered on the the camera a little bit so you can see a little better. <clears throat> yeah, it just sort of gives you a double layer to the, uh, triple layer in this case, to the witch. All right, now we're going to let that dry a bit. And while that's drying, I want to take you over and show you how I do my uh, spring for the bobblehead. Okay, to make my spring, I got a little piece of wire here. I've got a uh, 132 gauge wire here. Just some scrap wire I've had lying around here, so I'm really not too sure of what it is. But um, you can use any type of wire you want. Uh, I take a dowel, in this case about a half inch dowel, stick it in my drill, and then you drill a little hole in it. To insert the end of the wire and now putting it on real low speed you want to let this thing turn and as you do you move along with it Only 
let it get away from you. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be a small piece. We don't need a big spring, so I'll cut that off right there. And then we take this out of the uh, out of the drill. Pull this wire out as best you can. Thicker wire is going to be harder to do, of course. A little screwdriver if you have to. Pop that out of there. All right, and just slide it off. Okay. Move that out of the way. And voila, you have your little spring that you're going to use for your bobblehead. Now you can cut these ends down as you need them. It uh, doesn't show much spring right now, but you'll see in a little while once we get this thing put together. Now, uh, I'm going to take the head, although I could just put it, you know, glue it to the back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it, uh, attach the spring. Here's another one that I did attach it to a little piece of wood the spring is right on there you see a little bit of the bounce to it right now yeah, I give it a little more body here and then I'm going to attach that to the back of the uh, witch's head this uh, is a twofold purpose one it gives a little more weight to the head and two if you want you could paint the backing I'm thinking of painting the backing uh, a red color and the rest of the witch of course is being being in black and the eyes would really shine through. I would take uh, and you know try trace some lines through there so you can get a little bit of the shape there. You don't have a square sticking out of the side. So I'm going to do that and then we'll uh, uh, try attaching the witch to the body. Okay to make this backing I'm going to just take a piece of scrap again and just draw some lines around this there's another piece of uh, quarter inch birch ply you could of course uh, I'm going to cut that even shorter there we don't want this up on the back of the head either so let's take this off here just get an idea of where we're at Okay, so we can take this now, and we really just want to get the eyes there, so what I'm going to do is round this over a bit, and that over to there, and then from here down to there, I can draw a line right there, so that'll give me a, a nice backing or the witch's head that we can attach the spring to and glue to the back of the witch's head too, of course. All right, let's go cut that out and I'll come back. Okay, I've cut out that other little piece for the backing of the witch's head so it fits right in there nicely. This is what I'm gonna attach the spring to. And, uh, but first, before we do the attachment here with some glue, I wanna go in and get some red paint and spray the backing here because that's going to be red behind the black head that we're going to have here. So I'm going to go do that. When it dries, I'll bring it back and we'll put this thing together. Oh yes, there is going to be a stand for this. I didn't uh, put this in the pattern book because it's fairly simple to make. All I did was take a 2x4, sliced it down the middle. So it's really about uh, half the size of 2x4 in thickness. And drilled a quarter inch hole roughly around the middle. I took a little cube of uh, pine and drilled a hole in that and I have a little quarter inch dowel here we're going to use for our stand. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this in here like that. We'll turn the witch over and we'll glue that right on there so that it'll hold it. Okay. And then, of course, we can just insert it into the stand as such, and we'll have a nice little, uh, if we insert it into the stand like that, we'll have a nice little stand-up display stand for our bobble-headed witch. So let's go and do that right now. Okay, we're going to take this cube, and once again with our super glue, put it on the back. 
So we'll hold to the witch. This stuff sticks pretty good, so I really don't have to worry too much about it. Let's see if we can figure out. All right, yeah. The balance. Like that. And I'll hold it up pretty straight. And a little, actually a little bit of a curve to it would be nice. And it's out of the way so you don't see through the flying flaps of her outfit here too. Okay, that's going to go in the back there. And then we're going to put it on this stand. I don't know that we even really need any glue here. This is nice and tight. Okay. Holds down pretty good. There. Got that on the stand and we'll be able to mount this up top later when it dries. Okay, we'll let that dry for now and we'll come back again. Okay, I'm going to try attaching the head to the witch's body. Now we're going to center it up around here, around the top where the hump is. And um, it's going to be kind of tricky showing this on video, but sort of follow along with me. i got a little clamp here I want to use. So we're going to take some super glue again and make a nice little pool up here. Like that. And then we'll take the head and put it right up against it like thus. Kind of hard to do with only two hands. If I had three or four more it might be, it might be useful. Right, I'm going to take this clamp we're going to put it right in between the ridges of the spring. There we go. And it looks pretty good the way it is, I think. We can always twist this spring if we have to, to reshape it. Okay, see the head is already starting to bobble all over the place. <clears throat> and when we get this colored and finished, it ought to look pretty good. As a little tabletop display. Alright, so we're going to leave that on there now for a while and let that dry pretty good. Back is still drying too, and stand it up against the stand. Okay, got all the pieces glued together and set up and up on the little stand, and we have our little bobblehead witch. It works pretty nice. Now, I guess we got to just paint her black and get her ready for the Halloween season. I'm going to do that and I'll come back after I got that done and we'll finish up here. Okay, before I paint this little lady, I'm going to uh, I'm going to paint her all black, of course. But the problem is if I spray the paint, black paint on there, it's going to get all of her eyes and you won't be able to see the red anymore. So I'm going to use an old trick that I learned a long time ago. You take some Vaseline and just put it in the holes like that so you can see that all right there and the holes you want to protect using a toothpick here to do this. Not so easy. There we go. Nose I'm not too worried about because you can't see down there too much anyways. Alright, take that and we'll wipe off Vaseline from the wood because we're going to want to paint this. I don't think it will bother it too much, but okay, we've got the eyes 
and the mouth pretty well sealed up so the black paint shouldn't get in there when I'm all done I'll just clean that out and hopefully it'll be fine okay so now we can go and take it and paint it okay I started taking the uh, Vaseline out of this out of the eyes and the mouth of Madam Witch here and it seems like the Vaseline did its job kept the uh, red paint visible and kept the dark paint from getting inside there so I'm somewhat pleased with this I wasn't sure how this was going to work I don't know about the nose. Yeah, the nose is okay, too. All right. And a little bit of that Vaseline here. Maybe I can darken it up with a, a Sharpie. All right. Looks pretty good. got to get rid of that little residue there but otherwise should be pretty good well here she is <clears throat> final product I ended up painting the uh, head a uh, different color than the body because uh, seemed to have gotten lost in the background but it came out pretty good I think and she's ready to fly just tap it on the side here and it moves its head anytime you move it of course it's gonna jiggle and you got yourself a nice little flying witch ornament for uh, Halloween. Okay, well, <laughs> gotta keep right on going, I guess. Finished up this project and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, click the like button down below and you can click the see, uh, subscribe button if you haven't joined yet. And uh, if you'd like a copy of this pattern, you can just click the little link down below. It'll take you to my Etsy store and you'll get this pattern and uh, a couple of others along with it too, which you might actually enjoy doing. Well, thank you for watching.